okay welcome back guys we're gonna be solving another question in today's video and we have t to the power of six is equal to two to the six and we need to figure out the value of the t for this question so before we start um some of you guys might say that i can see that t is equal to is definitely a an answer which it is and uh, you might actually see another possibility for this question since we have an even exponent if we have t is equal to minus 2 that's going to give us an, another answer too but uh, all of these are true uh, but the only thing that's missing is the fact that we have to answer this question that are these two the only answers that we have for this question and as a matter of fact we have six answers for this one so we have to go through the algebra process to find all the answers in here but keep in mind that going with guessing is always a good strategy when we are looking for the final answer but it might be a good strategy in multiple choice questions but uh, when we are asked to find all the answers we have to be familiar with the process to get to those answers and what we're going to do in here is that um, I'm going to start with going over some laws of the exponent when we have a to the power of m times n. We know this will be equal to a to the m to the n. And here instead of 6, we can write it down t to the 3 times 2. And on the right side, we can do the same thing 2 to the 3 times 2, which will get 6. So now we have this part and we can do t to the 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the 3 to the power of 2 and we're going to bring this one uh, to the left side of the equation so basically t to the 3 to the 2 and once we are bringing something from one side of the equation to the other one we have to do a negative sign for that so 2 to the 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0 and what we can see here is that if we call this one a and this one b we have difference of two squares which we know a squared minus b squared is basically a minus b times a plus b so we're going to use that in here we have t cubed minus 2 cubed times t cubed plus 2 cubed is equal to 0 and let's see what we can do in here we have here the difference of two cubes where we know a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared and we have the same thing for positive version we only have positive sign in here and negative sign in here. So that's the only difference from the first one. I'm going to show them in different colors. So uh, t cubed minus 2 cubed, it will be t minus 2 times t squared plus 2t plus 4. And for the second part, this one, we have to go with the positive, which we have t plus 2 times t squared minus ab which is 2t plus 4 and we know this will be equal to 0 now we have four different expressions equal to 0 and we know when we have a b c d is equal to 0 that means each of them can be 0 so a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 and same for c and d and let's go with each of them so t minus 2 is equal 0 that shows t is equal to that's the answer that we could guess at the first place so that's one of the answers so this one we have t squared plus 2t plus 4 is equal to 0 and we have a quadratic formula and if you want to find the answer our t so let's find the a b c in order to use the quadratic formula so our a is 1 b is 2 and c is 4 so the t will be minus b minus 2 plus or minus the square root of discriminant which is b squared 4 minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a or 2 and as we can see our discriminant is negative which is 4 minus 16 or minus 12 so we have complex answer in here minus 2 plus or minus 4 minus 16 minus 12 which will be 12i squared divided by 2 and we can see we can have 2t in here so minus 2 plus or minus 
I can get out M412 we can do 4 times 3 divided by 2 and if we take out 2 we'll have minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 divided by 2 the 2t we get in here is minus 2 divided by 2 minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 and two more answers in here we call this one t1 and 2 let's call the t in here t3 and let's move on so this one's out to let's move on to the red ones t plus 2 is equal to 0 that's going to be another answer that we could guess in the beginning this will be our fourth t so this one's out to and we have the last one which is t squared minus 2t plus 4 is equal to 0 we're going to do the same thing we have a quadratic formula our a is 1 b is minus 2 and c is 4 and let's see what we get in here so this would be our fifth and sixth t that we have so minus b this time we have 2 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant which is b squared 4 minus 4 times 1 times c divided by 2a or 2 and this is going to be very similar to the other one so 2 plus or minus minus 12 or 12 i squared divided by 2 and again we can do the same thing for 12 so 2 plus or minus 4 times 3 times i squared divided by 2 or 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 divided by 2 and here the fifth and sixth answer that we have is 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 and that would be the six answers that we have for this question as i said it's easy enough to guess the two answers that we have in here two and minus two but guessing those imaginary answers that we have in here for t is not definitely an easy thing to figure out we have to go through the this process to find the final answers hope you guys find this one helpful please let me know how many of these answers you found and let me know if you have a better solution to solve this one feel free to drop your questions in the comment section uh, you guys take care i'll see you in the next one have a good one